Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sayushi and today I wanted to make a tutorial of how you can end up playing Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast in VR with the Quest headset. You are going to have to own a legitimate copy of either of the games, but as I'll talk about today, you can find the games for pretty darn cheap because they're so old. This tutorial will also work for any other game that's on the SideQuest app, but for the sake of today, we're going to be focusing on Jedi Academy. What sparked this tutorial is the fact that the actual SideQuest tutorial is pretty horrible. Generally speaking, it expects you to understand a lot of the ins and outs of the app without telling you how to navigate the app in the first place. So first of all, how do we unlock developer mode? We're going to have to go to this website, which I'll put a link in the description, log in with your information, and then you can just put whatever business you want into this field. It doesn't even have to be a business. It could be gibberish for all I care. Keep in mind, it is meta, so they will probably end up seeing the name. You don't want to end up putting anything that will potentially get you banned. Select I understand and submit. So then we're going to end up opening up the meta app on our phone. You're going to make sure that your meta headset is connected to the app. Then you're going to click on headset settings. From this menu, you can see developer mode, and then we're going to enable developer mode, which I already have enabled. And you might have to reboot your quest for this to take effect. So now we're gonna head on over to the SideQuest website. And first and foremost, you should get SideQuest and download it to your computer. There is a web installer, but I would recommend the local one because that's what you're gonna to need to actually install game files and such. So once we actually have the app on our computer, you're going to plug your USB into your headset and it should end up detecting it inside Quest. Keep in mind that you might have to have the headset on your face just so that it's like active. Sometimes it tries to go to sleep. So now we're finally at the page where we're going to set up Jedi Knight VR or Jedi Academy slash Jedi Outcast. And the tutorial on this site is pretty bad if I'm being real. This is kind of the main reason I wanted to do this video, but they do warn you that you are going to have to own a legitimate copy of the game, which you can get like super duper cheap off of key sites. I'd suggest using the website gg.deals. This is really, really helpful for finding really cheap key sites. Or you can use the browser extension Steam Augmented, which is going to end up showing you the current cheapest price for any Steam game. So I was able to get Jedi Academy for like three bucks. So from the side load app, we're going to end up searching for this Jedi app right here. And then we're going to end up clicking side load now. If this doesn't work, because sometimes it doesn't, you can actually access SideQuest within your headset. So if you end up going to your applications, you're gonna see this button right here, and then you're gonna to go to unknown sources. There's gonna be all sorts of different options here, but we're looking for SideQuest specifically. This will allow us to use SideQuest within the VR headset. So we're gonna search Jedi, and then we can see JKXR right here. And this is the same page that we see on the web browser, but it's a little bit more optimized. We're going to click sideload now, and then you should see a notification of the files being installed. Next, once we have it installed, we're going to launch the JKXR, which is still going to end up being in the unknown sources app page. By launching it, it's going to ask for some permissions, which we have to agree to, and then the app is going to close. The next part is a little bit tricky. They kind of just skim over it, but what we're gonna do is click on manage files on headset, and we're looking for the JKXR folder right here. If you're planning on playing Jedi Outcast, then you would go to JK2. But for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you Jedi Academy, which is JK3. Now we have to find the file location for the game, in which case on Steam, you can just right click, manage, and go to browse local files. From this folder, we're going to go into game data and base. And from here, we can just click at the top, copy this, and then from the JKXR folder, we're going to go to JK3 for Jedi Academy, base, and then we're going to click upload file to this folder. And then by default, my windows went to downloads, but we're going to click up top here and paste the pathing that we took for the Steam folder. This will end up taking you right in here, and then you're going to select all of the PK files and then click open. This will end up taking a little while, but it'll end up adding all of these to the VR headset. So now we're back in the headset and it suggests that we just launch JKXR. But for me, this didn't end up launching the game. It just sat there and did nothing. Instead, we're going to launch the companion app. It is going to take a little while to load. Excuse me, my right controller is dead right now, but we're going to close this window, mute the background because I find it annoying, and then we would select the game and click launch. 